matrix vector multiplication by map reduce first of all we understand matrix vector multiplications we have matrix a and b with the dimensions m by n and n by p respectively we understand number of columns in the matrix a should match the number of rows in matrix b this is how we perform matrix multiplication or you can say the product of matrix a and b as per the mathematics now how to work with the matrix vector multiplication by map reduce so we should understand what kind of input is required what kind of output is required the input file has a one line of the following format you should understand m is nothing but a name of the matrix i and j are the position of the element inside the matrix and m i j is nothing but an element we have two matrix a and b let's see how we can represent this in a input file let's understand how we can represent this a and b matrix in a input file format we have matrix a we have matrix b now as per our format where the first element should be the name of the matrix then position 0 1 this is 0 1 we are storing 1 only we are not storing 0 okay so we are working with the matrix multiplication in the map reduce we work with the sparse matrix so we don't store zero elements inside the sparse matrix so we will store only directly the first element that is a 1 where the position is 0 1 so we are writing 0 1 and 1 1.0 the value of the element okay the next is 2 so what is the position of 2 is is 0 2 so matrix name is a 0 2 2.0 next element is 3 position is 0 3 so we are writing a 0 3 3.0 same for the fourth element a 0 4 comma 4.0 same for the element 5 so position is 1 0 name of the matrix is a it will be a 1 5.0 we can represent 6 a 1 comma 1 comma 6.0 so on we can calculate the whole matrix a representation in the input file and we can also calculate the matrix b in the input file format that is a first step to perform now we should understand what kind of output file format should be there like i and j that is the position of element inside the matrix in output format and m i j that is the element so this is the output of multiplication between those two matrix which we have seen so we get this position is 0 0 so we are writing a 0 comma 0 comma 90 points the next element is 100 so we are writing 0 comma 1 comma 100 this is how we represent output file format so we are telling the system this is the output file format so we understand what format we have given to input and in what format we will get the output this will be the output in this format not in the matrix format we want we can create that using programming logic now understand the pseudo code if you understand the previous example you can really understand this code let's understand pseudo code map will take the key values from the data set and it performs the separation task by creating two different key value pairs. How it is going to do? We know that we have seen the file is stored which consists of A as well as B matrix. If the value of 0, so this is the value 0, means this is 0th position, is the first, second, and third position. The 0th position is equals to A. The character A definitely definitely we are going to create the matrix A so we are going to separate it out in mapper if value of 0 equals to A 
So i is equals to value of 1 and j equals to value 2 and a i j is value 3. If for k is equals to 1 to p is created, so we are going to emit the two things i k that is a key and the value will be a j a i j. If it is not a definitely, definitely it is going to be b. So this will be for b, j is equals to value 1, k is equals to value 2 and b, j, k is equals to value 3. For i is equals to 1 to m and again we are creating the key and value here. So i, k, i, k is common created in both the cases and here the value is created b, j and b, j, k. This is how we created it, two separate matrices. How reducer is going to do? Reducer will take the key values from the mapper where the key is i k in a and then value is actually stored into hash map. This is hash map where for a, a separate hash map is created and for b a separate hash map is created. It is going to set all those elements in those hash map. We initialize the result to 0 and then for j is equals to 1 we are going to perform result is equals to result plus hash a j into hash b j. Those hash are multiplied to each other based on its key value and at the end what we get the multiplication of the result in the form of key and result. Thank you.